Good morning. We welcome all who are joining us from your home. We are so pleased that you are with us in spirit. We respectfully ask that all cell phones be silenced. Today we gather to celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I am Dan Nolan. Our second lector is Regina Folia. Our leader of song is Bianca Holquin. And our organist is Jean Madden. The deacon of the mass is Deacon Mace Mazzoni. Monsignor Michael McCormack is our principal celebrant. Next weekend, there will be a second collection for the Mission Co-op Appeal, which will be benefiting the Colombian Father's missionary work. Food and other items for our parish's Martha's Cupboard can be brought to the vestibule of the church. We greatly appreciate our parishioners' support for those whom we are serving each week. Registration for our parish religious education program is now open. Please register online through our parish website. Thank you. All women are invited to register for Walking with Purpose, which begins on Wednesday, September 11th. The theme for the fall and spring sessions is passionate discipleship. The deadline for registering is tomorrow, August 19th. Our parish school, Holy Family Regional Catholic School, is accepting new registrations for the 2025 school year. This week's Pot of Gold Jackpot Prize is $34,000. Tickets are available in the vestibule of the church and at the rectory. Now, as we prepare for Mass, the prayer for priestly vocations can be found on the inside cover of the Blue Prayer Book. Please stand and let us pray. Father, in your plan for salvation, you provide shepherds for your people. Fill your church with the spirit of courage and love. Raise up worthy ministers for your altars and ardent but gentle servants of the gospel. Bless our archdiocese with numerous vocations to the sacred priesthood. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our entrance hymn is 213, God, We Praise You, number 213. everyone and welcome. Special welcome to those who are joining us from their home today. In addition to your own personal intentions for today's Mass, if we could especially remember and commend to the Lord Dennis Eisenbray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This time, while we'll the children's liturgy of the Word invite children in kindergarten, first, second, and third grades, if you'd like to come up. Zoe, I think you want to come up. <laughs> Thank you. 
My dear children, you will now go to hear God's word and to reflect on the wonderful things God has done for us. We will await your return so together we can celebrate the Eucharist. Go now and listen to God's word to you. reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, come, eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live, advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. 
Brothers and sisters, watch carefully how you live, not as foolish persons, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine, in which lies debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of, man, of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. It has been said that no one is an island. From our life experiences, 
we know that it is part of our human nature to be in union, in communion with other people. Originally, we were part of our parents. Again, we know from our own life experiences that there is a desire in each one of us to be one with one another and each person or a group of people. This hunger can only partially be filled by human intimacy. Ultimately, true and everlasting peace come only when we enjoy union, that is, communion with God. When we enjoy this communion, we experience ourselves as really real and truly fully alive. As believers, and as we know from our reading of the scriptures, Jesus is our most profound link with God. We believe that when we are in communion with Jesus, we are in union with God. Jesus replies to those who are struggling with his teaching on the bread of life. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. And then Jesus says definitively, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Jesus at the Last Supper instituted the Eucharist and throughout Christian history, Jesus has continually given himself to us in the Eucharist. Jesus desires to intimately enter the deepest part of who we are in order to give us his divine life. The principal fruit of the Eucharist isn't something Jesus gives us, it is someone. It is the gift of Jesus himself. He is the answer to all our deepest longings and the fulfillment of our greatest needs. Through baptism, we become members of the church, the body of Christ. Through the Eucharist, we are nourished, kept alive in faith, and very importantly, we are united to Jesus, our Lord and Savior. As we continue in our liturgy, let us ask God for the gift of faith so that we may never lose sight of the gift that Jesus is to us in the Eucharist. As we approach to receive Jesus in the Eucharist, let us be ever more aware that Jesus wants us to be forever in union with him, with his Father, and with one another. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
true God, from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, united as Christ's body, we now offer our prayers to the Father. That members of the church spread throughout the world may be filled with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people of faith might work together to bring about peace in our world, especially in the Middle East, Ukraine, and Africa. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are ignorant of Christ may receive the gospel message of salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may help all gathered here to grow in our devotion to the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our first responders and our military service men and women may know safety in all their endeavors and may their call to service bless their lives in many ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our veterans who have faithfully served our country will be filled with your love and strengthened with your grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are ill may come to know you more deeply through their trials and experience your love in a profound way. We especially pray for all those whose names are written in the white intercessory book and also Tom Anna Laskus, George Angle, Tony Gilanti, Mark Gravanti, Joe Killian, my wife Carol, Annette Minicozzi, Michael Page, Sharon Page, Marie Rorty, Ryan Schlegel, Mary Smalley, baby Grayson Whitaker, and Mark Whitaker. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may rejoice as they join the communion of saints in the fullness of God's kingdom, as we especially remember Kevin Bushnell, Dennis McFadden, Grace Morshauser, and Gregory Scarborough. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also commend to the Lord Dennis Eisenbray that he be received into the kingdom and the Lord's consoling spirit be upon his wife Carol and all her family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Father, you give us life through the life and death of your son. We ask that you hear the prayers we offer this day for they are made through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Our offertory hymn is 370 Panis Angelicus 370. <laughs>
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we acclaim. <clears throat> indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
mystery of Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Dennis, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We invite those who are participating with us from their home and therefore not able to physically receive Holy Communion to please join in praying the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn will be 347 I received the living God, number 347.
I Receive the Living God, number 347. Let us pray. 
made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, to conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being here and for your participation at Mass. I thank all those who are joining us from their home. Um, there are a number of people who join us uh, via the live stream. Uh, one in particular I'm thinking of right now, I heard from him uh, this past week, and he references uh, very often that he joins us from California. And he, his name is Gary Beeston. I don't know whether he's watching right now or not, but uh, he uh, was our neighbor in St. Jerome's back in the early 60s. There's another neighbor right down the street, now I'm dra dropping names here, dropped one already, uh, Sylvester Stallone. His real, name, uh, his real name is Michael Stallone. And he, he lived right down the street on Mauer Street with us. I'm not sure that he's joining us via live stream, but, but he's always welcome. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, host by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our recessional hymn is 736, To Jesus Christ, Our Sovereign King, number 736.